Hi, viewers. Uh, this is Dr. Ajaz Qureshi from Toronto, Canada, with today's episode of The Daydreamer Show, the presentation of Dreams Television. Today, we're going to talk about the workforce of the future. In future, or currently, how the workforce look like. And our esteemed guest today is Saman Zahid. She is a bachelor. She has done Bachelor of Science, and she's seeking a master's admission for the information technology. She has passion for information technology. She's currently working as a virtual assistant to Amy Carrier and Amy Carrier's Classroom. And she's also a member of APCC, which is the Asian Pacific Children Convention that happens uh, every year in uh, Japan. And uh, uh, someone went to Japan when she was just 11 years old. How sweet it is. And uh, she participated in this program and she's working right now with the Bridge Club of Pakistan, which is in fact associated with APCC organization. And uh, Bridge Club of Pakistan is an NGO and uh, um, it, it, it works for or with APCC. And uh, uh, someone has uh, been really very um, uh, learned person and she is still learning. And uh, she self-taught herself lots of different technologies, no, knowledge about computers, knowledge about Photoshop, and hardware and software and gaming and what have you. Let's welcome our esteemed guest uh, on the show today, Saman Zahid. Saman Zahid, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much awesome. for giving me the opportunity to talk about myself on this Thank show. So I did a little introduction. I'm not sure if I captured pretty much everything. Uh, I know you have done a lot more than that. Um, so tell us about who inspired you uh, to do what you do today. How did you get here where you are? So I am Saman Zahid, and I am the virtual assistant for Amy Carrier's classroom. And Amy Carrier gave me the get this opportunity to pursue my dream of you know, becoming this person who I am right now. And I guess I was, I, I still am a member of APCC. And I was just 11 years old when I got the opportunity to go to Japan and learn about different cultures and understand their language and how they actually, you know, how everyone is as a person, not just, you know, Okay, they're Indian, they're Nepalians, they're Americans. No, just being with them actually made me learn about who they actually are as a person. The misconceptions that we have, hi, Amy. <laughs> the misconceptions that we have about, uh, you know, how Pakistanis and Indians actually are, but it's a lot more than that. That, mis uh, that mis misunderstanding just got clear when I interacted with all of them. So that was, that is what actually made me, you know, uh, a bit open-minded about this job. This job is actually very global, a, go a global classroom. I am the assistant of a, a global classroom, Amy Carrier's classroom, and it has 96, um, sorry, uh, members from over 96 countries. And, you know, I, I don't think that, okay, this person is Indian, I have to stay away from this person. I don't have to talk to him. No, it's not like that. If uh, my misunderstanding hadn't cleared at that time, then I would have thought that, okay, I don't have to talk about this person. and I don't have to talk to this person in particular. So I, I think I'm open-minded open about all this, you know, Nation, national culture, that nation-wise culture that we have. So, and now I am the virtual assistant of In Care's classroom, and this this job is like everything that I dreamed of as a child. So yeah. great, awesome. So that means that you have uh, this uh, job gave you the opportunity to become a global citizen. Is that right? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. So your work is beyond uh, the race or religion or the country, the back, the background, the yeah. ethnicity or everything. It's all about, yeah, it's all about learning together. It's not just about, you know, okay, this person is from another country and, okay, we don't, you know, we have to 
talk to them in their own language. No, uh, we actually put this, the English language as the universal language in any career classroom. And this is actually the, uh, this is actually a must part if you want to join the classroom. So all, all you need to do is talk in English. And there's no comparison or no, you know, uh, how can I put this? Um, like to 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 the daydreamer yeah. show, which happens in English. I uh, um, Alex always tell me that, hey, dude, you announce your uh, post in English and then you talk in Urdu, or you talk in Punjabi or Sindhi. And what do you, what are you doing? Uh, he loves to watch my shows, and that's what he was saying. Let me bring up his comment. I mean, I, I'm really uh, he's brother from uh, uh, from another other uh, another mother. And you know he's such a wonderful person, such a gem of a person. I love him from the core of my heart. He, he's saying that I'm here three minutes before the show, and <laughs> show starts and feels like waiting uh, at Alex. the same time, and the curtain is about to be open. So <laughs> thank you so much, Alex, for being there, Alex. And uh, it's really amazing, amazing. So, Alex is an amazing person. Yeah, Alex is an amazing person, no doubt about that. And thank you so much uh, for your support, Amy. I, I really appreciate it. And um, yes, English is global language. Uh, let me bring up the, that comment. Yes, absolutely it is. And um, But the issue is about me, and I have, I have explained that, uh, that I want to reach the masses. And uh, unfortunately, because of the literacy rate in Pakistan, the masses are still, you know, um, they don't speak or understand English as much as they speak their own native language. So that's the problem that I, but I still conduct shows in English. You, you have been watching my shows in English as well. And I, you know, I'm increasing the number of English uh, 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 guests on my show, speaking uh, shows and, and my guest as my guest. But again, you know, I, I have to go back. So uh, going back to some, uh, um, Actually, we shouldn't, okay. um, you know, feel bad if we say or, you know, if we mess up the grammar. This yeah. is not our first language. This is our exactly. maybe second or third language. So yeah. if we are actually talking, then it's about the confidence. Absolutely. It's not about, you know, messing up the grammar or saying something that doesn't make any sense. No. So we're trying. We're trying. We're trying our best. Yeah. Yeah, we, and this is what we, us Pakistanis actually feel that if we uh, mess up English grammar, then okay, oh no, what can we done? So <laughs> yeah. we should, you know, Pakistanis should have more confidence. Great. So viewers, keep commenting. Uh, I'm sure you will like the show. We're gonna be, we have just uh, got started. We haven't really gone into the detail of uh, how the workforce of future look like and things like that. We're gonna talk uh, um, uh, to to Saman Zaid. She's our esteemed guest today. But thank you so much for commenting. I really appreciate it. Keep them coming. They tell us that uh, how are we doing and um, uh, how are we responding back. To the community and what are we, our contributions are towards the community our guests are not paid or anything uh, you know it's their um, option to come for free on this show the show is for free and then uh, anybody can be a guest on this who has something uh, passionate about doing something you know so it's not necessary that you are like a 50 year old man or woman who have done so much you know, uh, in your life uh, as accomplishment and you will be guest on the show. No, anybody who has a passion, who has a dream to live with can be a guest on the show. So I've seen uh, Zainab is asking, uh, she wants to be on the show. Zainab, you can inbox me and tell me why you want to be on the show and we'll bring you on. So thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. Keep the comments coming and uh, let's uh, let's get back to our esteemed guest again. So Saman, tell me, uh, you said this is your dream job, right? You dreamed about, uh, you're passionate about, first of all, you're passionate about computers. You're passionate about uh, uh, the um, uh, graphic design. I know that. And you're passionate about video editing and all these kind of things. And you're, you're, you're a technology geek kind of thing, right? You, you want to use technology. and But uh, what do you actually do for the Amy Carrier and Amy Carrier's classroom? Okay, so my job is 
as the name says, virtual assistant. I assist Amy in you know, running her classroom. I manage the classroom in the background. I approve members. I edit the videos. I had to do a lot of interviews in order to make videos, testimonial videos about the mentors and about the members of the classroom who have learned something from this classroom. And I do research. I do a lot of things. There, there. It's like it was a, this long list when I had to apply for this job. Amy, I actually my friend, she posted about uh, Amy's post that she's looking for. Um, yeah, thank you, Amy. <laughs> she flatters me. So my friend posted about Amy's message that she's, she's looking for a virtual assistant and I was then looking for a job and I was actually you know frustrated and you can say anxious that I'm not getting any kind of responses my resume or CV as we say might be every every corner of Islamabad but I didn't get got any response from anywhere any school any any kind of um, center that I sent my or dropped my CV to. So I just found this opportunity by my friend and I contacted Amy and I sent her my video and at that time I edited my video in Windows uh, Media Player, sorry, um, Windows Movie Maker. You must know that. It's just you know, an orthodox <laughs> video editor, and I had to edit my video in that, and I sent that to Amy, and Amy scheduled an interview with me, and uh, I wasn't qualified in any of the things that I, and she knows that. She was actually okay with my intermediate video skills. Yeah, intermediate. I, actually not even intermediate, I was a beginner. I hadn't edited a single video in my entire life, and that was the time that I just installed that media player, uh, movie maker, and just edited that video and sent that to Amy. And I, that was the time when I learned about how we can put sub subtitles in the videos. And I just put them, just, and it was like three to four hours that took me to add those subtitles in the video. And I added them and sent that, them, uh, that video to Amy and she scheduled the video. She had two interviews with me. And then I, she told me that she's looking for Nas Daily kind of videos, you know. And many of the people, like, she wanted to make testimonial videos. And I didn't know what testimonial is. <laughs> and, you know, you can see the level of my uh, beginnership in this job. And I'm so thankful to Amy that she gave me gave an opportunity to a beginner that had no experience but and now i think that i know this and that and every detail every video editing skill that i can even think of and i have that just because she gave me the opportunity to you know be a virtual assistant and now i know how to do research now i know how to look for something that isn't there, but I have to, you know, dig it from the ground and put it up there. And now I know how to edit videos. I And now I know how to use Camtasia, and Camtasia is not that, you know, uh, you know how Windows Movie Maker is. It doesn't have any tracks, but now I know how to use tracks in a video editor. So that's, that's what I'm thankful for, this woman, this amazing woman that gave me an opportunity to learn and I am a learner. She knows that I'm a learner. And because of because of her uh, because of this opportunity, I got to learn about how we can work professionally. So I'm really thankful to her. Awesome. All I am from these four months, I have changed a lot. Professionally, I've grown, and it's all because of her. So thank you so That's much. Sweet. I know she's watching. She is watching absolutely. She is coming and she's saying that she is uh, she is a teacher, but coach also. She's a coach for yeah. so, so we all know. She's not just the a coaches leader. She's not are just a teacher something and coach. different. She's also teacher. a leader. Absolutely, she's a great leader. She's a great coach. She's yeah. a great teacher. So the coach is someone who really goes out 
and shows people how to do it. So if you talk about coaches in squash and in, in hockey in soccer, football, you call it, you know, uh, the coaches are on the field, on the ground, running around and showing how to do things. Not that, OK, do this, do this, do this. That is not the way of the coach, right? So thank you so much for being there. Yeah. And if they stay humble, then they can anything. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, the, the beauty of the coach is that people themselves, they don't realize how talentful they are, what talent they have, what they can achieve, what they can do. Only the person who is really uh, on the other end can say that, yes, someone can do this. Now, when you said, uh, and, and confession, confession, confessions, you know, I, I thought I'm, I'm a priest sitting on the other side of uh, uh, the, uh, the net and, and listening to uh, someone Zayed's confessions that I was a beginner and uh, I just, uh, I didn't know how to do video editing, I still got the job. So, uh, yeah, the, the, the best person would be to see the potential and really train and bring them up, lift them up. So the lifting part is definitely a great support. Yeah. It, you know, youngsters, they have to come forward and without hesitation, as you did, and, and you had a confidence in you and you did that. So thank you so much. This is great. So and you know how this. I um, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. Because you asked me a question <laughs> about how we can do this, how we can drop the footage and add two footage at a time. And now you can see how I've grown. I didn't know anything about video editing, and now I just answered you in just seconds. That okay, exactly. you can do this. Just That's add right. two tracks and add that footage. Yeah. You know, yeah. Two tracks. One, one confession from me, guys. Uh, I do lots of Zoom uh, recorded uh, shows as well, and uh, uh, you know, um, I'm at the mercy of the uh, the video editors again. Uh, uh, people like Saman Zahid, uh, who does video editing and knows how painful it is. But again, uh, sometimes I, I, I try. I'm a technology geek myself, and I try to do that. And I didn't know um, how to do. I had an idea, but I, I wanted to confirm that with someone. And I asked her on Camtasia, "How do you?" I have two people sitting side by side in Zoom, and how would you um, crop out the second person? I know I, I did crop myself, but then how do I crop the guest? So um, I thought that, OK, if I add another track, and then I crop it out, because one track gives you one crop. So and, and someone verified that, that yes, you can do that. And, uh, thank you so much for that. So guys, uh, <laughs> okay. let's get back in lots of comments. And uh, thank you so much, uh, um, uh, viewers. Uh, Amy had something that went down way down. So uh, she's saying. Please explain uh, on on this show also in Urdu so others can learn how valuable is it to practice in the classroom, like uh, Saman said. So, viewers, today we are with our guest, Saman Zahid. He is a virtual assistant for Amy Carriers and Amy Carriers for classroom. His work is to assist them in their work. बहुत सारे काम करती हैं उनके लिए खुद ग्राफिक डिजाइनर हैं बीएससी उन्होंने किया हुआ है मास्टर्स कंप्यूटर साइंस में करने जा रही हैं पैशनेट हैं वर्चुअल असिस्टेंट हैं वर्चुअली काम करती हैं वर्चुअल असिस्टेंट क्या होता है कि वर्चुअली फिजिकली बैठी हैं पाकिस्तान में एमी बैठी हैं अमेरिका में और ये उनके लिए काम कर रही हैं एमी इनको पे करती हैं इनके काम के लिए पे करती हैं इनको गाइड करती हैं इनको पढ़ाती हैं कि कहाँ पे कैसे काम करना है क्या चाहिए उनको ये उनको करके देती हैं ये इनका काम है समन का समन इसमें आप कुछ और ऐड करना चाहेंगी बिल्कुल पहले तो थोड़ा सा मैं बताऊँ कि वर्चुअल असिस्टेंट्स जो है वो सिर्फ वीडियो एडिटिंग वगैरह में नहीं है वर्चुअल असिस्टेंट्स के बहुत सारे जो है वो टाइप्स हैं तो मेरी जो टाइप है वो ये है कि सारा कंप्यूटर रिलेटेड काम है मेरा मतलब कुछ लोग होते हैं जो आपके साथ गेमिंग करते हैं वो आपका वर्चुअल असिस्टेंट होता है क्योंकि गेमिंग में भी आपको पता है जैसे काफी जो है आप गेमिंग करें तो वो आपकी जो है वो एक तरह की जॉब होती है तो काफी टाइप के वर्चुअल असिस्टेंट होते हैं तो मेरी है कि मैं वीडियो एडिटिंग करती हूँ रिसर्च करती हूँ एमी की जो क्लास है एमी कैरियर क्लास उसको मैं मैनेज करती हूँ और जो भी एमी को जो अगर कोई वीडियो चाहिए होती है किसी के साथ इंटरनेट जो है वो मैंने किसी को परसुएट करना हो किसी चीज के लिए तो वो मैं करती हूँ 
और काफी यही यही सब है और इट्स नॉट जस्ट दैट इट्स अ लॉट मोर देन दैट लेकिन इन अ शॉर्ट वे यही सब ये जो मैंने आपको बताया वीडियो एडिटिंग रिसर्च ये सब है बहुत जबरदस्त कमिंग बैक टू द क्वेश्चन सो अगेन समन you think that you get enough support from amy whenever you need it because uh, you you're editing something and uh, you want to ask something burning question that you need an answer right away to move forward to move to the next step how do you get okay. her okay yeah uh, first i would say that being alone in a workplace is difficult because when you have colleagues with you you can just ask them for their opinion and they can help you in doing something and that is what i lack i don't have any colleagues that they can help me they can give me opinions on doing something you know you can do this with uh, this way or you can that that way so i don't have that uh, you know that thing i lack colleagues i lack those opinions so amy is actually my colleague as well in this thing if she asks me to do something like add this effect and you know add fade a little bit more in a video so if i can't do this she will just spark me up and yes you can do this yes yes we're a team and she will give me the, those high five emojis and yes we can do this i know you could do this and when i do it finally she would say i knew you could do it and you know she actually she's a perky person and she just gives you all the confidence you need Absolutely. so when she actually bucks me up she actually that actually makes me achieve that that thing that she asked me to do so yeah amy is my amy is everything amy is my coach amy is my leader amy is my boss amy is my colleague so amy is my friend so she's everything that a person can ask for awesome awesome that's great that's very very nice okay lots of people are commenting folks i may not be able to bring every single comment on the screen so please uh, forgive me for that i hope you won't mind but i'm trying to uh, to bring as many comments on the screen as possible so let me bring amy's uh, and i'll so this show since this show is paid by amy so i have to bring her comp no it's not it's not <laughs> i said that earlier this is not a paid show so <laughs> going back to amy's point um and she's saying uh, this is important to communicate to everyone uh, everyone watching she approached me uh, with great confidence and willingness to demonstrate her skills uh, she was very eager uh, this is what uh, got her the job not just the potential absolutely absolutely so the eagerness to do something to achieve something and uh, your daydreaming that yes you want to do it and you can do it you have to convince yourself first of all convincing somebody else you have to convince yourself and yeah. uh, someone did that right then you someone actually why i was eager uh, to do this job was because it it was related to what i wanted to do Inter information technology all everything i need to do is i just need a computer and this is what i needed in a job if 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 it was a teaching job i wouldn't be this eager okay if they're not letting me take the job then okay whatever i'll just find if because this is the the job that actually you know fulfills my uh dream because it has video editing it has research it has everything you have to do with a computer so this is how my eagerness just came over me so <laughs> over. i just wanted i was like okay i just want this job it it's the perfect job for me and so, i just went so for it going back uh, to the uh, to the topic do you think that the um, the girls and women uh, who have access to the internet and access to a laptop uh, they can they should get into this virtual assistant kind of thing and uh, definitely okay yeah. so you, your your suggestion is that they should get into that but then yeah, can we talk about yeah it's the perfect job for women yeah. sorry someone go ahead you go ahead sorry i was just completing my my answer if this is the perfect job for women and girls in pakistan you know they we all just you know try to stay away from going to offices and 
we just seek teaching jobs in Pakistan. You must know that. We just, okay, yeah, teaching is the perfect job for a woman. This is what the uh, thinking in Pakistan is. A woman can only teach in schools. So there are, like, I think what my, um, what I think is that only 20% of the women in Pakistan go to offices. So this job is perfect for any woman, any girl in Pakistan. Yeah, working from home. And, uh, yeah. And that's it. And you get everything. Yeah. Whatever you need to do in office, you can do it at home. So can we talk yeah. about how um, the women or girls can find the jobs which are um, for this kind of remote work? You know, you're doing remote work. You're uh, virtually working from, from home and providing services to your client in, in the United States who is who happens to be Amy Kerr and Amy Kerr's classroom. How people can go and find these kind of jobs? Where are these posted? Browsing. All okay. you need to do is search about it and you'll find the answer. Just browse for it, just search for it, and you will find it. Good, so Google is your best friend, I always say. And, uh, you know, best Social friends. Social media. <laughs> Good. All right, Amy is uh, saying uh, someone is uh, uh, is uh, uh, learning how to build her own support team by building her relationship uh, within her network. She has learned how to ask the other mentor teachers in the in the classroom and other video experts in in my network for help. Absolutely, absolutely. And and this is uh, something which I should say that uh, whenever you know. Um, and I'm a researcher myself, but again, whenever I don't find something, I look for help. I always ask for help. So this is great that someone is doing that and uh, asking for help from other teachers in the classroom and Amy, and they're all supporting. Yeah, you know, if you ask someone for help, I'm sure that they're not going to say no, right? They would, no matter who that person is, you're asking for help and they're there to help. So thank you so much for that. And, uh, uh, okay, so now we have a comment from uh, uh, Rehan Alawala. Rehan, bhai, thank you so much for joining the show. Um, he very seldom comes to my shows, but again, thank you so much again. Uh, and he's saying, I'm thankful uh, to someone for doing uh, this with Amy. Absolutely, we all are. We are proud of uh, someone. We are proud of Amy, what she's doing for the country, what she's doing for uh, global, you know, to promote peace and promote education and everything. And we are really thankful for Rehan Bhai to connecting, uh, especially me, with uh, such wonderful people, Saman and Amy and everybody else that I have uh, been connected with. So thank you so much, Rehan Bhai, for that. Really appreciate it. Okay, more comments. Comments keep coming. Then what's going to happen to our show then, uh, Saman? I don't know. Uh, this will go on and on and on, and uh, we are here. So that's okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, okay, Amy is saying uh, that job seekers uh, uh, build your network. Absolutely. Networking is the utmost thing. First thing that you have to do to network with people. You know, computer networking is not going to be able to do networking. You know, networking is not going to be able to do it. You know, you have to do it. 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 ठीक है आप अगर सौ लोगों से बात करेंगे तो आप देखिए आपके पास सौ डिफरेंट आपके जहन के अंदर कॉन्सेप्ट आएंगे ख्याल आएंगे कि आप ये कर सकते हैं ठीक है आप उनमें से कोई भी आप कीजिए तो ये चीज है थैंक यू सो मच एमी फॉर फॉर मैंशनिंग दैट रियली अप्रिशिएट इट अपॉर्चुनिटी विल पॉप अप डेफिनेटली एज सुन एज पीपल स्टार्ट नेटवर्किंग थैंक यू सो मच लाट्स ऑफ पीपल आर कॉमेंटिंग थैंक यू सो मच कशिश कशिश आई वॉन्ट यू ऑन माई शो सम डे so do spare some time please uh, 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 come forward and and uh, help us out as well i know you're a great viewer and uh, you participate a lot on on rehan bhai's team so thank you so much for that uh, rehan is saying uh, one of the purpose uh, uh, sponsoring uh, this to amy was uh, to help amy and uh, uh, aman understand um, uh, the, aman okay understand this um, and this is a, a seed absolutely it's a seed uh, for uh, for the peace and uh, we need to grow uh, this into a million people doing 
the same thing. Absolutely, we have to. I mean, if we grow this to a million people who are working as a virtual assistant, um, a staff augmentation, working remotely from their homes, be it boys or girls, doesn't matter. Uh, if they have internet, they have a laptop, they can do everything. And, you know, they can self-teach as someone has done. Someone didn't go to a classroom to learn Photoshop or Adobe Premiere or Camtasia. And she's doing wonderful, wonderful work in the field of graphic designing and the video editing. So thank you so much for that. Anbai for comment. Um, appreciate it. Uh, okay. So, Simon, tell me, uh, tell me one thing. Um, uh, now, this is a difficult question, but in terms of uh, the uh, the payments, do you fees? Uh, do you uh, feel any difficulties, or you're paid on time, and things like that? Why I'm asking this to just clarify. People have this fear that okay, I will work for somebody in the United States or in Europe or or, or in Canada, and I might not be get paid, or how they will pay me, things like that. So can we touch briefly on that, please, for one minute? Yes, I had that fear. Uh, actually, uh, this job is funded by Rehan Alawala. So yeah, I, I didn't know that at first. And I was actually concerned about this. when Even when I didn't uh, had uh, scheduled the interview with Amy for the job, you know, job interview. Um, so I had this concern. but. When I got the job and I uh, connected with Essen Salim Katoria, uh, he actually he you know removed this um, misunderstanding that I had that okay what what am I going to do how will I get paid and then uh, I was told that okay Rehana Lawala is sponsoring this job and he wants to help Amy grow her network and I think. Uh, uh, because Amy Carrier's classroom is same as your daydreamers show. Amy doesn't get paid. She's not getting any kind of um, you know money from it, but she's doing for the youth. She's doing not just for the youth. Everyone who um, who wants to you know be successful in life. So this is what Amy is doing as well. She isn't getting paid for running this classroom, and this classroom has. Uh, I think it's almost close to 6,000 people now. Wow. Um, so uh, Rihanna Lawala sponsored this job just to help Amy. And she was, she was I think, uh, she wasn't, uh, she was actually confused at how will everything, of, you know, work, uh, this virtual assistant thing will work out. But I think it pretty much answers this question now. Awesome. So, that's yeah. great. That's great. Amy, uh, I, I know you're watching this show. Let me know if you want to be uh, on the show. I can bring you in briefly and uh, you can uh, uh, comment on how someone is doing and share your experience with Amy. That would be very nice uh, to have you live right now on the show. So please let me know and I can send you the link to join. Come online with me. OK, so let's get back. Um, Rehan Bhai has more comments. Uh, Amy took six months to find and hire someone. Uh, this needs to become faster. Uh, next, uh, uh, Zaman should take uh, one week uh, max. Yes. Ask, um, Zamana, you mean? Ah, bilkul. Um, it took six months uh, for Amy to uh, decide uh, and, and figure it out. So absolutely, this should be a lot faster. But the problem is that sometimes, you know, when um, uh, the receiving end is a little bit, uh, you know, and, and, you know, you heard someone saying uh, okay, uh, she was uh, a beginner and, you know, um, so on the other end, on the hiring part, it becomes, uh, uh, you know, uh, some questionable that, okay, should I hire this person or should I not? Or should I keep looking for somebody else who's better than this person, A or B or C? And then that lingers on and things like that. So I, I think it's on both sides. If uh, there is a person with uh, the right skill set at the right time, I think the hiring manager would not have any difficulty in picking. But then when there are some, you know, uh, some issues, uh, of doubts and things like that. I don't mind that, um, you know, here in North America, the hiring takes forever as well. 
uh, you, you have multiple interviews uh, in front of the board individually, phone interviews, reference check, blah, blah, blah. Takes that much time, so it's okay. Uh, clarification, okay. Uh, took six months uh, for a suitable applicant to apply. Yes, okay. It was, uh, I was ready when, uh, uh, when the job was posted uh, to hire immediately. Okay, all right, that's good. Good, good, good clarification. Thank you so much, Amy. Appreciate it. I'm still waiting for my question. If you want to come online for a brief uh, moment, please uh, feel free to let me know and I'll uh, bring you in. I'm not uh, using Messenger right now, so you cannot reach me uh, through Messenger. The only thing you can do is comment here and then I can send you the link uh, privately quickly. Um, beyond by saying uh, we did this uh, uh, with Lisa. Lisa Canning, and uh, now she has 63 employees as a virtualist. Absolutely. And uh, just for the viewers, uh, I'm bringing in uh, Lisa Canning as well on this show uh, in uh, September. And so stay tuned for that. 63 women hired by Lisa Canning from Pakistan working for, for Lisa Canning. Great, great success. Great story to share about. I'm super duper excited to bring her on the show. So stay tuned for that. All right, let's get back to, to our, uh, our show and our topic, which is the workforce of the future. What do you think that people will be asking for or pe people should be ready before they get into the, uh, the virtual world kind of thing? What homework they should do, someone according to you, that they should prepare themselves to be ready to apply for a job working remotely. Okay, so uh, what they need to know is about the person who they're working for. What kind of that? Uh, what kind of uh, person that your boss is? You know. So, Amy, uh, it, it, it can also be uh, related to the country they are residing in. Because Amy is in America, so I had to do a research about workforce in America. So you had to be precise about the timing. You have you have to. Okay, so Amy is really uh, into details, and so I had to, you know, learn about how to look for details because we just leave details in Pakistan it, because. The workforce in Pakistan is really different from workforce in uh, America. So I had to, you know, move my, uh, how can I say, um, work according to what Amy wants. Uh, so I had to look, uh, you know, look for details in every small thing. Even if that, uh, in video editing, if, you know, you see a blue line on an annotation that she doesn't want, even if it's not, um, you know, visible to the naked eye, she notices it and she points it out. So I have to, you know, look for details in every single thing. So um, you need to know what kind of, uh, you know, a requirement your job uh, needs. If you can fulfill these requirements, then okay. If not, then maybe you should work on it or maybe you should look for other opportunities. But if you are if it's according to what you wanted all the time, all this time, then you can just work on it. Like I did. I didn't know about anything about uh, video editing. I didn't know uh, how to, you know, yeah, <laughs> details. We laugh it off, actually. These details have been really messing with my brain <laughs> for the last four months, and I leave. Sometimes I just look over and over and over a video that I had edited, and when I show it to Amy, she points out one little detail that I hadn't put in. I had to do it all over again. So, I know. yeah, we Amy, laugh at Amy, every Amy time. has OCD like me. Yeah. I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> <laughs> right, Amy? <laughs> all right. So, so yeah, so that, that's awesome. You yeah, need to know what it. kind of a, boss, a person your boss is, who you're working for, what kind of a person that uh, that person is, you know? So uh, this is what you need to know. And then, of course, the requirements that the job needs you to have. Great. OK, so um, 
Amy is saying uh, she wants to give a highlight to you, Saman, today by not coming to the show. So thank you so much, Amy, for that. Uh, Rihan, by uh, she's saying uh, if Rihan can come and uh, uh, talk to us uh, for 20 seconds, uh, that'd be great. So um, I leave it to Rihan, by if uh, he would like to come. And uh, Rihan, by let me know if uh, if you want to come for 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and uh, say a few words uh, about the uh, workforce of the future, that'd be very kind of you. So please let me know and I can send you the link right now. Okay, and uh, <laughs> yes, he's confirming, yes. <laughs> I can figure out when uh, someone said uh, about uh, revisions and things like that, yes, absolutely. OCD is something that I, I, I would confess uh, live that yes, I have that uh, kind of a problem with me. I want everything perfect. If I show you my desk, it's pretty much organized. I mean, it's not, it's, it's, it's cluttered, but again, organized in a, in a good way. All right, so thank you so much, uh, Amy. Appreciate that. Uh, a big comment from uh, Zainab uh, Said is here. I'm not sure if I can bring that up, but let me let me get back to it. Let's continue with our discussion here um, uh, with Saman. So Saman, uh, what what would you suggest uh, to the uh, to the youth, especially women um, and uh, and boys as well? What is your message to them? Uh, my message, according to my job, I just say it according to what I dreamed of all these years. When I was in ninth, uh, there was a girl, you must know her as well, Ari, um, Arfa Karim. She was the youngest certified Microsoft expert who died when she was about my age at that time. And she inspired me so much that I just always dreamed of becoming an IT expert just like her. So if you have dreamed about something, just try your best to achieve everything you've ever dreamed of. If it doesn't, you know, if your dreams do not come true, there might be something that Allah might have planned something better for you. But if you have a dream, try everything, try your best, give your everything just to achieve that dream. And someday you might be able to achieve that. And just fulfill your dream. Great. Awesome. Uh, we have another comment from Amy. Amy is saying uh, the purpose of my classroom and working with someone is uh, to teach the uh, the whole world how to do work uh, like this with anyone in, in the world uh, join now. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Everyone should join Amy's classroom and uh, you will find tons and tons of valuable information in there please do join Amy's classroom there are already lots of people part of it and uh, i want all my viewers my friends uh, to be uh, part of the Amy's classroom and uh, you don't have anything to lose you will gain so if it is coming for free they don't charge anything this is just uh, social work uh, she's doing she's helping our nation and uh, that's that's the best thing that she's doing. So I really kudos to Amy and uh, to someone and Rehan Bai for doing all this. I really appreciate your work, Amy. Keep up the good work, what you're doing. So thank you so much. And one last message I want to give my Pakistani brothers and sisters is English. Itne confidence se bolo ke agla bhi tumhare confidence pe hairan ho jaye ke okay. Isne sahi bola hoga. Maine maine galat samjha. Yeah, but so, it's any confidence and crazy. So, Mujabata, I'm anybody. Very bad, I'm crazy. 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 i am crazy i English achi hona jo hai wo intelligence nahi hai bilkul wo hi baat ho jati hai na ki angrezi mein koi bhi bol leta hai lekin aapka iq itna strong hona chahiye aapka confidence itna hona chahiye ki angrezi ho ya urdu ho ya koi bhi language ho aap successful ho bilkul bilkul uh, Amy has put the uh, the website link. Uh, you can find it in the comments, uh, viewers. It's here, amycareersclassroom.com. So you can you can browse to that. Uh, Kashish is saying, uh, never stop learning because uh, life never stops uh, teaching. Absolutely. Wow. 
amazing 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 absolutely kashish this is uh, this is something uh, you said right yes life teaches us every single moment every single moment so keep learning thank you so much for for that comment um uh, Kalamu Kartas uh, is our Hafiza Behen. Uh, actually, she is saying, if you can uh, think, you can achieve, uh, dream it and achieve it. Yes, absolutely. That's all this show is about, the daydreamer show. You have to daydream. Only then your dreams will come true. So keep dreaming and uh, um, they will happen. Kashish, thank you so much uh, for that comment and uh, appreciating some. Thank you. And uh, all right, G. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, good, good comment. So, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, we have some more. Um, yeah, we are not native speakers, uh, but it's still we strive hard to speak uh, foreign languages, exactly. and uh, that's good. Um, it gives us the, the lift, you know. So, absolutely, it does. It gives lift to us as a people, as a person and uh, as uh, as a worker as well whatever we do it definitely gives us uh, the lift so thank you so much appreciate it everybody is happy today uh, or at least seems to be happy i am happy all right so viewers uh, that was saman zahid so thank you so much saman for your uh, uh, time on the show on behalf of green television the daydreamers show myself you just crashy all our viewers who have participated today or will be watching it uh, as a recording because of their time uh, differences. We thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for inviting me to this show. And yeah, I thank you for giving me the spotlight that, <laughs> that I might be craving for. <laughs> but thank you so much. And to everyone watching, you're never too old to learn. If someone is teaching you something, do not take it on your ego. Just learn it because it might be something that would help you in the future. So just even if you're 60 years old, just learn something new every day. Great, awesome, thank you so much. So yeah, Kashish, um, thank you so much for mentioning that. Uh, Amy uh, uh, said uh, she would come next time. So, um, but again, uh, and Dan by probably is tied up. He's on the road. I know that, and he has his uh, busy schedule, so I won't expect him to join the show. Um, but we have more comments coming in from. So I'll hide myself, uh, so that you can still see uh, someone here on the screen along with the comments. So, uh, so Amy is saying uh, someone is not only speaking to me in English 100% of the time. She's also listening to all of my. Um, unorganized thoughts and feelings uh, and findings, uh, finding a way to understand my vision each day and um, in each conversation. She's doing great. So thank you so much uh, for that comment, uh, Amy. Appreciate it. Uh, Muhammad Ali Siddiqui is agreeing with what you said. So thank you so much, uh, um, Adil. And uh, uh, Marianda, uh, Leila, Pais, okay, saying uh, great show. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, please uh, forgive me for not pronouncing your name right. I'm sorry. Apologize for that. But I really had fun. I had a blast. Uh, uh, this is great show. I really enjoyed uh, talking to, uh, to to Saman Zahid. She's such a wonderful person. Great soul. Great youth uh, who has the passion to do something, to achieve something, to accomplish something in her life. She is very determined, dedicated a person. I really wish him uh, all the best in her career and all future endeavors that she is embarking on. So thank you so much, viewers, once again, uh, on behalf of myself and the show, and the Dreams Television for joining the show today. Keep watching. Please let us know if you want to be part of this show as a guest. Do inbox me and tell me why you want to become a part of this show. What passion do you have? What do you want to talk about? And we'll, uh, we'll bring you on to the show. If you have any comments, concerns, questions about the show, please do inbox me or comment here. Let us know how did we do? How did you receive this show? How did you like this show? Did it achieve your expectations or not? 
and uh, we will try to accommodate uh, those comments and try to adjust ourselves. Your feedbacks are very, very important for us. So thank you so much. On behalf of Saman and myself, Dr. Ejaz Qureshi saying goodbye. Take care of yourself. Until next time, ciao.